I wanted to talk today about shortages, right? There's a lot of uh, fear. I know I've been uh, guilty of this myself, but I fear about inflation, energy shortages, food shortages, water shortages, right? American, uh, the American West with water shortages, food shortages. Um, we're already seeing it in lots of places, right? Um, I believe like Sri Lanka, uh, Egypt, I mean Yemen, uh, lots of food shortages, right? And then, you know, money shortages, right? Inflation, right? Or, well, too much money, I suppose, in one sense, right? <clears throat> but too little in another sense, right? We don't have enough to combat inflation. And energy shortages, right? Energy crisis in Europe. You know, but when I really right, when I really think about all these problems, none of them are what we say they are, right? When we, uh, so what I mean is, right, we already answered our own question, right? When we say there's a water shortage, there is a water shortage, right? Because, because, well, because that's our limited preconception, right? That's our belief, right? That we have a water shortage. We don't have a water shortage. We have a, uh, how do we use that water shortage, right? What I mean is, right, we have a creativity shortage, right? That we that that we're not able to think creatively about how to use these things, right? We don't have a water shortage in the American West. We have a how do we use that water shortage, right? <laughs> how do we use that water, right? Agriculture. How do we use that water? You know, lawns, golf courses. How do we use that water, right? It, it's it's all about the usage, right? Not the thing itself, right? Because there's plenty of water, right? But it's just like, for example, on Earth, right? Most of the water, like uh, ninety something percent of the water, is salt water, right? Ocean, sea. So we don't have a shortage of water. We have a shortage of how do we use that water? How do we make? How do we use that salt water, right? To make it. Well, yes, we can use desalination plants, but even more creatively, right? But that's just one. But that's still a limited thinking, right? Now there's things like gray water systems, right? You can. You can use water over and over again, right? Collect ra collect rainwater, um, use it to clean your dishes, clean your laundry, and then use that, right? Use that gray water to water your plants, right? And then use that water, right, for something else, right? There's so many creative ways we can, right? We can do things. It's just a limita a limitation on our creativity, right? On how we do things. So food shortage, right? There is no food shortage, right? There's a how do we how do we get the food to the people we need shortage, right? There's more than enough food, but we grow more than enough food. We waste a lot of it, and look at nature, right? Look at nature. We uh, just look at the trees in your neighborhood, right? Apples, walnuts, maple seeds, oak, right? They're all edible, right? Every, dandelions, right? Everything is like everything that we think of as weeds. Like ninety percent of them are edible, right? Ninety percent. Now I'm not saying like you should eat like tons of weeds what i'm saying is we have a shortage in our thinking right what what we think of as food right how much we waste so it's not a food shortage problem so much as it is a you know a creativity again right it's how we think about things right whatever we focus on that's what we're going to get right if we say we have a, a food shortage we're going to get a food shortage right but if we say that we have a a creativity problem that means that you know we know what the problem is right we know like how to fix it if we say we have a food shortage we can't fix it right no matter how much food we create we're going to waste more of it right but if we say we have a creativity shortage right a creativity shortage that means that we can fix it right because that's us being creative right we come up with the solutions so it's all about like how we focus, right? Our language, right? The language we use to speak about these things, they put us in these boxes, right? They basically trap us, right? They make us consider only one solution. So it's so important. It's so important to talk about how we talk about things.